every one of our customers start with data. So the data can be in various modalities. Uh, images and text tend to be the big ones that people are dealing with these days. And everybody wants to get to a model, the trained model. And this is, like I said, some kind of a representation of that, of that data set. But doing so is actually quite complicated. It's pretty circuitous, and there's a lot of things you got to think about. Um, these are not topics that are uh, stable either. They're constantly changing and shifting, and we're getting better at training models and making things more efficient. And really what we do is we sort of bring order to that, and we run it on any cloud. So how do you use it? Really, it starts with a YAML file. This is a configuration file where you specify you know, some things about what GPUs you want to run on, how many GPUs you want to run on. Anyone who's actually trained neural networks on multiple GPUs or multiple uh, nodes or systems would actually understand this pain. It's quite difficult. We've made it as easy as literally just changing the number. You can make it eight or you can make it 8,000. And if we have the resources available, it'll simply run that much faster. We get nearly linear scaling um, in Oracle Cloud because of the way that they've uh, configured their interconnects. Uh, you, you actually put a couple other things like integrations here with uh, ML Ops tools, which I'll show you in just a moment. And, uh, and then basically you say, go. And we have two ways of doing that. We have a, a CLI, a command line interface, where you basically type in um, you know, run and there's a bunch of other things, options to watch it and things like that. Uh, but you basically submit that YAML file with your model uh, definition or you can do it from a Python uh, SDK that we've also defined. People use this for you know, sort of uh, continual learning uh, platforms where they're ingesting new data and kicking off new, new training runs. While it's training, you can actually visualize this with your favorite tools. Um, weights and biases and Comet AI are two very common ones. We have pretty seamless integration there. We also integrate with TensorBoard um, as a free option. So I mentioned uh, we tightly integrate with OCI. And uh, this is actually something we characterize on our own. We, we actually found that OCI is the best foundation. So uh, what you're seeing here on the, uh, on the y-axis is accuracy achieved over time when training a neural network on a, on a benchmark. And then the x-axis on the left is time to get to that accuracy, and on the right is dollars. And so if you take a couple of those data points that are near the 80%, and you sort of compare them between AWS and Oracle, I mean, it's about half the time and half the cost. It's actually a pretty big deal. And these are, this is a tiny benchmark. This is not something that costs a whole lot of money. So maybe you don't care about $200 versus $100. But uh, when it starts getting to be $100,000 versus $200,000, uh, companies tend to care a little bit more.